Full time at Crow Park, and it is Kerry who progress into the semi finals of the All Ireland Senior Football Championship. They have beaten Mayo by a scoreline of 118 to 13 points. Mayo's wait for the All Ireland Senior Football Championship goes on for another year. Kerry with their first big championship win since they beat Tyrone in the All Ireland semi finals in 2019. It's a huge, huge win for the Kingdom, a huge win for Kerry, a disappointing result. For Mayo and really the injuries in the end, I think have come back to haunt Mayo. And I think the old sort of discussion around Mayo not having the forwards to win an All Ireland, I think has come back to haunt them because you could clearly see in the last 20, 25 minutes of that game that they just ran out of energy, ran out of legs. And uh, usually we associate Mayo with having that one big final push towards the end of a game. This time it did not materialize. And I just think in the end, it's uh, it, it's caught up with them. and. And certainly there will be, you know, a lot of question marks around the future of certain players, managers, management, backroom team in terms of what happens there. But look, I think you've got to give the day to Kerry. I don't think they were anywhere near their best today. I think they were actually quite poor for about 50 minutes, uh, 50 to 60 minutes. You know, in the first half, there was just, like they were getting caught a lot of the time in possession. Mayo turned them over a lot of times. Um, Mayo created far more scoring opportunities than, than Kerry in this game. And I thought Kerry, like, it was just a little, they looked a little leggy at times, you know, and you could tell maybe maybe a bit rusty. Like, you could tell the break probably played a, a big instance. Like, they hit a couple of wides early on, a couple of chances you'd normally see them score. Paul Gainey's early goal chance flashes wide. And, you know, they were, they were sort of, they were almost trying to work too many goals, I felt. Like, they were trying to play through the lines. And, you know, really what they needed to do was just sort of keep the scoreboard ticking over, start, you know, creating more scoring chances. They were kicking very direct into David Clifford. They were hitting that diagonal ball into him. Uh, interesting enough, I mean, Clifford obviously comes into the game with, you know, a lot of people saying he's injured, some injury doubts. Is he going to be in the team? Is he going to be out of the team? He starts. Um, and, you know, early on, when he has the ball, he ends up sort of, you know, it's obviously very wet conditions at the start of the game. It was pelting down. Um, and he sort of slips on the ball or, or fumbles on the ball and it looks like he rolls his ankle a little bit and he's he's almost limping for the entirety of the first half. But, you know, fair play to him. He carries on and and, and, he, and he did seem to get better as the game went on um, as well. Like he ends up finishing with 1-3, gets himself that goal as well. And like there was an opportunity there for Kerry. I felt like when they kicked inside, um, like there was spaces there. Like Mayo were giving them spaces a lot of the time and like, I felt like if Kerry were more at the races, they could have been comfortably in front of halftime. I really do. Um, because they were able to play true Mayo at times and they just weren't... I don't know what it was. It just didn't look... It didn't look quite like what we've seen from Kerry. It wasn't Kerry during the league final. It wasn't vintage Kerry. And whether it was... You know, they haven't played a big game of any of anything really since about March. You know, they, they cruised through the two Munster Championship games. They've sleepwalked through Munster, really. Um, they haven't had a game of significance, but you know what I would say is their game management towards the end was very, very good. Um, and that has been a problem for Kerry. You know, 2019, they struggled to close out that game in the drawn game, and that was against 14 men. Um, it has been an issue for Kerry, like Cork 2020 as well springs to mind. They couldn't quite close that one out, and obviously Mark Keane gets that goal. But they did close this one out, you know, and, and they done very well towards the end of the game, and 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 they dropped back a lot more defensively. Um, they didn't allow Mayo to create any goal chances at all. Like other than that, Kevin McLaughlin chance in the first half, Kerry didn't have or Mayo didn't have a single goal chance at all. You know they very much recognised that Mayo just didn't have the shooters on the pitch. Like I was surprised James Horn brought off Jack Kearney at half time because he did kick a point and I actually thought he played well. To be fair, now whether that was an injury, I don't know. I was doing a live watch along, so I wasn't watching with commentary. So, you know, maybe someone can let me know in the comments down below if that was an injury. I thought Fergal Boland should have started. Like, he had a really good game coming off the bench to, uh, in the last couple of games. He didn't score this time around coming off the bench, but I thought he should have been a player that, that, that Mayo should have started. And, you know, they just don't really have the, you know, without Ryan O'Donoghue, without Tommy Conroy, um, you know, that you could see in the final few minutes, they didn't quite have the, the players. Like, maybe you drop Killian O'Connor a bit deeper. Maybe you push Lee Keegan up the pitch. Like you were looking at Mayo, and it was sort of like you need to do something different here. Like James Horan needs to mix it up. You know, I've seen Mark Moran was on the panel. I know he hasn't played a single minute of, of football this year for Mayo, but I remember when he was unbelievable against Galway. You know, I noticed, you know, apparently some issues behind the scenes with him, and, and apparently Horan doesn't really like him that much. I don't really know, but maybe throw him out on the pitch. Like just do something a bit different because 
you were watching that final 10 minutes and you were thinking this game is only going to go one way unless we see something like the Armagh Galway game where they get two goals from absolutely nothing like those two Armagh goals earlier they weren't even well worked goals they were just they sort of just came out of nowhere like dropping ball just fell and you know you know a little bit of luck sometimes but Mayo just didn't really offer that and in the final 10 minutes it was just very lethargic very lazy I felt um, maybe not lazy but um, lazy management, I think, is, is what I would say is, is not to change that. And, I mean, the players kept trying. I mean, there was nothing lazy about them, obviously. Um, you know, they they kept trying. They kept going at it. Just don't think the quality was there. Like, you know, um, um, you know, Jordan Flynn came on, looked very lively, kicked two points, but dropped a few chances wide as well. James Carr kicked a good point when he came on. But, um, yeah, the, you know, the quality just isn't quite there. Um, and Kerry, you know, towards the end of the game, just started to, to get a little bit more in life. Obviously, Paul Ganey, I thought, had a very good game, kicked four points. Tom O'Sullivan, what an extraordinary performance from him, you know, three points. He was almost playing a full forward at times. It was uh, it was quite unusual, to say the least, um, to see him up there, you know, up at the forwards at times. And he could have actually got a goal towards the end. He put it over the bar and, and took his point, but he, he maybe could have got a goal, uh, to be fair to him. David Moore, and I thought, done well around midfield, hit two points and um, got turned over a couple of times, but, you know, he kicked two points, so I suppose, you know, he, he did make it a big addition and he hasn't played too often for, for Kerry this year, I don't think so. He was he was certainly of, uh, of, of big, big importance for this, uh, for this Kerry side. Um, and yeah, look, in, in the end, you know, Kerry come through it. They win it by eight points. As I said, they weren't at their best, but they'll take a lot of confidence. You know, they, they, they've they got a lot of learnings there. Um, and I'd much rather be Kerry's position going into the semifinals than Dublin's. And that's coming from a Dublin fan. You know, Kerry would have learned a bit there. You know, they, they got that rustiness out of their system in the first half. You know, I think Mayo could have punished Kerry in the first half. I really do. If they just... They just had to create a few more chances, or or not maybe chances, but just had a bit 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 more accurate in front of goal. I think they could have done something, and I think maybe they could have went in front a half time by two three points, and and maybe just kind of seen the game out towards the end. You don't know, so you know whether Kerry are going to be as rusty going in against the Dubs. I'm not so sure. Um, to be perfectly honest, plenty of coin comments flying in there if you could uh, hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already be much appreciated there it says would like to have seen our ma and mayo go through mayo are so wasteful yeah and unfortunately the same you know it's very much come back to haunt them in the end um you know watching that game towards the end it was very similar to to the throne mayo final last year as well rommel says horror out mayo fans definitely not happy Rory says, I really thought this would be their year with the curse lifted. Um, I guess this is why Joe Broly called them celebrities. Yeah, look, I, I don't really agree with what Joe Broly... I mean, Joe Broly has this weird thing with Mayo where he, he always, you know, once Mayo lose or Mayo play bad, he's, he's the first one sort of, you know, I'd say he has his article probably half written already um, about, you know, the Mayo culture. And I don't, you know, I, don't, I, I personally, I don't know because you know I'm not involved with Mayo GA, so... You know, but I don't know how Joe knows either. Like, I just it just feels a bit kind of like yeah, clickbait to be honest. Um, but yeah, you know, James Horn, you would have to imagine should probably go. Like, I don't think you keep him in charge. He's had eight years in charge, two different spells, hasn't won an All Ireland, been to multiple finals, but you know that doesn't matter to Mayo. You know, they, they want to be winning that All Ireland. Like, seven, it'll be seventy two years come next summer without Sam, you know, and that's that's incredible, really. Like, you think of the talent of this team, that they've players that they've had. And, you know, it's going to be interesting to see what happens, like what manager they bring in. I don't know. Do they go for an outside man? Do they do something different? You know, do you see do you see some of the same, you know, obviously they've a young enough squad, but they they do have lads who've been, you know, very, they have a lot of minutes on the clock, you know, your O'Shea's, your Keegan's, your Durkin's, you know, are they going to stick Henley? Are they all going to stick around next year and give it one last go? You know, and do they have, is there oil in the tank? I'm not sure, to be honest. And not only is there oil in the in the tank, but I think mentally as well, you know, to continuously come so close and fall short, you know, I'd say, I'd say it's very, very tough. Um, but look, as I said, you know, first half, second half at times, like Mayo done well defensively, I thought at, at times, like, you know, they sort of, they left a lot of space in behind when Kerry kicked in, but, they done well, sort of, at forcing 
like it getting blocks in and getting turnovers. They turned Kerry over a couple of times. Um, but in the end, it, it, it wasn't enough. It was the, you know, it was the shooting that let them down. And, you know, it was something we talked about in podcasts leading up. We said they won't get away with the same against Kildare. And a lot, a lot of people weren't too happy with us saying that. But, you know, that, that that's what's happened. That's what happened. Uh, Rommel says Horan dropped Ryan O'Donoghue over arguing over free kick duties. Um, I heard he was injured, but I don't know. Uh, maybe you know something we don't. He's a goner. He's lost the dressing room. Stephen Rochford might come back. Oh, I don't know. I, I just don't know. Like, I think for Mayo, they, they can't keep going back to the same people. Do you know what I mean? It was James Horan. It was Rochford. Then it was Horan. I think you need something different. You need something new, in my opinion. I think Rashford is a great, great manager, um, and he came. He got Mayo as close as anyone to winning the All Ireland. But I'm just not sure you go back there again. I don't know. Maybe Mayo fans can let me know in the comments down below what they what 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 they think. But yeah, like I don't I don't know who would be the the ideal candidate to be honest with you to, to come in. I can't really think of any names. Off the top of my head, um, is it Ray Dempsey, Pat Dempsey, Dempsey who manages not more? Could he be an option? Um, you've obviously got Mayo in the minor, all out of the final. Could the manager of that team come in? I don't really know, but look, a lot of soul searching certainly to do for Mayo over the rest of the summer and the winter. It'll be strange not seeing them in the all out and semi finals because this is what the first time they haven't got to the last four since 2018, I guess, and only the second time since Jesus, what 2010. So you know, crazy, crazy stuff. But, um, but yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Uh, if you could subscribe, if you're new to the channel, be much appreciated. Hit the like button as well. Uh, plenty of content still to come. There will be a vlog out later for the games yesterday um, and plenty more videos and all the rest to come soon. So yeah, if, if you could hit the like button and subscribe, be much appreciated. And I will